Hi everybody, this is Janice Knepp Walter and I will be your instructor this semester for either an online or a hybrid course. And I want to use this screencast just to do a quick introduction of myself and also I'll do a very brief uh, guided video tour of Desire to Learn course management system. So let's go ahead and get started here. There's a picture of myself. I've been full-time faculty out at Red Rocks Community College since 2010 in early childhood education and last year 2013 I picked up um, teacher education so I am the program chair for both departments. Prior to coming to Red Rocks I was a large care center director where I had a staff of 24 and uh, we typically ran about 130 children in the program that I directed. A lot of fun, really enjoyed that. I do have 10 children. I have five of my own and five stepchildren and I have two puppy dogs that I often talk about. And you can see I've listed some of my personal interests. I'm pretty eclectic. Depending on how busy I am is how much time I get to spend doing any one of these things. Um, but I absolutely do love online coursework and I love using technology and education. So here's some information on how to reach me. Email is by far the best way to reach me. I usually respond to my Red Rocks email within 24 hours if you leave me a message there. You can also leave a voice message on my office line, main line. I do try to return voice messages in two to three days. It's very dependent on how busy my schedule is. Um, I'm not in the office every day or full time every day because I do teach a full course load and I'm also involved in a couple of committees on campus. You're welcome to stop by my office, check the syllabus for my posted office hours as they do vary from, from semester to semester. For my full attention, please do make an appointment. You can also reach me right after class gets done. I'm available oftentimes right after class. As far as suggestions for taking online or hybrid courses, what makes it easier? Obviously the big one is having access to a computer with stable internet. I'm sorry, you're hearing my dogs in the background there. Um, whether that computer is located at home or it's located at... So in terms of internet access, your computer, it can be at home, it could be access to a work computer, or it could be any of the computers available for your use as a student on campus out at Red Rocks. We do have several locations for those computers. You can use the library computers, the student project center, and also in the learning commons. People find it very helpful to have a set of earphones or headphones to listen to videos that are posted. I do post videos in a lot of my content. Listening to them via earphones or headphones makes it less distractive for you when there's background noises and also if you're in a very public place, other people don't have to listen to your videos that you're watching. Time management skills are very essential. You'll notice there are lots of due dates. You will want to post them on a calendar where it's helpful to remember them. Also to block out your time that you're going to spend doing your online coursework, whether it's early in the morning or late at night, whatever time is best for you. Plan on spending between four and six hours a week accessing your online course materials for a hybrid or online course, whether that's reading assignments, participating in discussions, or doing your written assignments and putting them into the Dropbox feature. You will be checking, I expect you to be logging into D2L probably somewhere between three and six times a week, depending on how often you get in there to do any one of those above mentioned tasks. Other helpful hints, probably the only thing I can think of is maybe using a flash drive for downloading documents and or saving your written assignments on. And that way it's very portable. You can do it from computer to computer if you've saved all of your assignments on the flash drive. So let's go ahead and get started on the D2L tour portion of this screencast. All of my content, whether I teach face-to-face, -face, hybrid, or online, I post everything in D2L. So let's take a quick look at what that is. I'm going to close this PowerPoint here. And you can see I have logged into desire to learn You go in through the portal from the Red Rocks homepage, and I will demonstrate what this is in our first class sessions. Here you can see I've logged into my nutrition, health, and safety course. There are going to be some common items, no matter what class it is I'm teaching and that you are accessing in D2L. I've already posted a little welcome note here. You can see that. D2L has some important links here. By far and away, the most important one is the help desk number. If you spend more than 20 minutes trying to figure something out, it's not working right, call the help desk. That's what they're there for. 
24 hours a day, seven days a week. They are your best friend. Um, also some other really helpful resources with tutoring, with the library, with the bookstore. There is a mock course that you can play around in here for online orientation. Here's the calendar I mentioned. Anytime I've posted a ca an assignment date, the calendar will reflect that date. So you will see here is a quick glance, at a glance, what's been posted already so far for our first course module. Um, going back to the top of the page, this is our navigation bar and you will see these common links that I post in all of my courses. So our course homepage, which will have the news notes, my primary means of connecting with you and sharing information. Content is where I'm gonna post all the materials. Class list has a list of all of our class um, participants. And then the discussions, Dropbox and quizzes, these are what I call the back doorway to get into any assignment. I will show you the front doorway. And then finally, grades. So I want you during your first week in coursework to click on all of these tabs and discover what's under here. We're going to start off with the content section. So in the content section, I always have an overview listed. The overview just gives you a quick descriptor of our course and it also has our course syllabus available to you. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, there is a little download arrow here that allows you to download the syllabus and print it out. I do provide a printed out copy of the syllabus during our first class session. So you're not required to print it out, but if you want to, you're welcome to. Uh, my expectation is you will read the entire syllabus and that's gonna be one of your first assignments here. During, especially in this nutrition, health and safety class, we don't actually meet until the second week of the semester. So you have one week online that you can explore all of this and I want you to begin by this, finding your way around this course module. I give you a descriptor of, you know, how do you locate things in the course? How is it organized? Well, it's organized in modules and they are noted on the left under table of contents. At this point in time, I've only got one module loaded. Depending on the course, I will have anywhere from six to 15 modules. Some modules I take in some courses, we, they, it's two weeks worth of work. In other courses, it's only one week. So that's why we get, sometimes you get six modules across the semester, or you get more than six modules, like one a week. Um, I do have my late policy posted here. All assignments are due on the date and time I've listed in the Dropbox. Uh, I do have a late policy. I will accept late assignments up to one week late. Uh, what I didn't put on here, which sometimes is helpful for people, is a do-over policy. So depending on the assignment, I do allow do-overs. Um, and I post that, I make that pretty clear. The kinds of assignments you can expect in this course are going to be, oops, sorry, let me get over here to my navigation. Um, reading assignments, you're going to have discussion assignments using the discussion tool. You're going to have application assignments. These are typically your written assignment that gets uploaded into the Dropbox for grading. And then occasionally I will use tests or quizzes with the quiz feature. I will be posting the this video tour under this module so you can listen to it again. There are two tasks I want you to complete. Number one, I want you to read the syllabus and complete the syllabus assignment as it's listed here. Number two, I want you to go to the online student contract. Um, this is using the quiz tool and there is a series of expectations, there's seven of them, that I want you to be able to agree or disagree to and mostly I want you to agree to them. If you disagree, you need to email me and we need to have a discussion. But these are expectations for my students for the online coursework. Um, like I said, if you disagree, please let me know. We need to have a little discussion because that tells me maybe this is not the best format for you to take a course or it's not the best semester for you to take this particular course. The syllabus assignment is reading the syllabus and then creating a document that states exactly that. I've read the syllabus and then uploading it into the Dropbox. It serves two purposes. One, you will have read the syllabus. Two, you will know how to use the Dropbox feature. When you click on these, these are live links. These are what I call the front door access to our assignments. So if you click on the hybrid student contract, it sends you right to the quiz tool. If you click on the syllabus assignment, it sends you right to that Dropbox. So you're ready to submit those assignments. 
Let's go back to the top of the page here. Like I said, here's the back doors. You're welcome to look at those. Grades, you click on this and it will help you track your grades for your assignments. If you're ever noticing that a grade is not posted for an assignment and you have submitted it, feel free to email me. Oftentimes I've just been so busy I don't get a chance to grade it, but I do try and grade things within one week of the submission date. And then um, sometimes it's just you forgot to submit the assignment or there was an issue around submitting the assignment. So please feel free to email me if you don't see a grade and you want to know what's going on with that. The last feature I want to show you is the class list. The class list has exactly that, a list of all the students that are registered for a particular class. If you see a green dot behind their name, that means that they are currently online. They may or may not be working in our current course, but um, they are online. And you can email anybody in the class by clicking on their name. So if you want to email me, you go to the class list, you find my name, and then you can send me an email. And it will send it through the email function in desire to learn when I have received an email, I will have a little red dot next to this mail icon. So I know that I need to check my email and it will tell me who it's from, what it's about, and then I can e email you back in the D2L email function and you will get a red dot up here stating that you have gotten mail. That's just a quick overview of desire to learn If you have any questions about this, please feel free to email me in the email feature and I look forward to our first night of class. Have a great evening. Thanks so much for listening to this screencast.